guess what came in today? My copies. All right, let's open this up. Samples. What? Never got these before. I guess they're extras. Maybe they're a bit damaged. I'm not sure. But here they are. So I got 50 copies. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to separate all the pre-order ones. And I'm going to start packing them because I want to do that tonight. And... Uh, and then the rest are going to be sold at MCX and whatever I have left over is going to be up in my store. Ooh. Also, I think one or two people ordered them already outside of the pre-order. So, yeah, but they look great. Look at that. I got six samples. Exciting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twenty-three. They give me two extra copies. That's pretty fucking sweet. If they did, I'm gonna count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fifty-one, fifty-two. They gave me fifty-two. So I have, I have two extra copies plus these samples that are six. And I don't know if the samples are a hundred percent, but that's pretty awesome. Ooh, that got a bit bent, but that's okay. I was about to email my printer and say thank you so much for the rush job because they got it to me on Friday and I ordered it like Monday or Tuesday, probably Monday. So I'm just going to do a check before I send the email just to make sure everything is printed correctly and then I'll send them the email. Everything looks good. I'm going to send that email off and I'll probably tell him to that I'll probably have more books for him to print next year most likely maybe even by the end of this year who knows it's actually friday right now friday night i just got back home from work i received my box of out of body books today instead of yesterday i thought i was going to receive it yesterday because um my printer guy sent me an email and said oh they're coming anytime before five but he wasn't clear whether or not it was a thursday or a friday so i guess it was a friday i got excited for no reason but they're here now and i didn't actually vlog any of the stuff that i'm going to show you right now because i had uploaded my vlog early this week because i already had it so why not and i didn't vlog anything because it's I, I kind of take a little bit of a break from vlogging when i post a vlog up i wasn't supposed to vlog this uh, and just work on it but i felt like vlogging a little bit of the packaging of the pre-orders because i want to include that in my vlogs just for memory sake as well but I made little personalized sheets. I didn't show you the stickers, but the stickers turned out like this. So pre-orders are going to get these cute little stickers. Um, it's funny, it's Filipino food and then there's just like a bottle of maple syrup right there in the middle. So everyone's going to get that. But I also made like, um, like personally embellished snack guide so i drew these like drawings of the stickers and then wrote a little bit i'm not showing you them too much because i don't want you guys to i don't want people to get too spoiled um yeah so i made these and i'm um writing ooh, writing everything individually i printed all of this out on my printer but now i'm gonna write it and, and and package so yep and i'm gonna watch some some stuff some youtubes while i do that start and something that psychology or philosophy I don't know what you would call it but um, there is a thing 
like if you have a table with holes, and that's, that's the part of the story that I started with me. Of course, uh, my, uh, on, on Wednesday, I actually have started. So if you want to come join me there, please me and my friend packing all the books. I don't want to copy too much. All right. I think I'm almost done with the wine art. I might touch it up after watercolor, but I don't want to. I should probably have done a thumbnail before um, this. But I do have a background here the darker wash. Alright. And it looks pretty. Yay, she isn't failing yet. Probably gonna create some weird crystallizing here, but I am good with that. Alright, now I need to make the other tree. I finished up packing some orders for now, um, some pre-orders for now. I also pulled out this um, sponge candy that my boyfriend got me when he came back from his trip. He's back now, so he bought a bunch of chocolate, so I'm eating a bunch of this dark chocolate sponge candy. It's pretty good. It's from Erie, Pennsylvania, I think. Pennsylvania, PA. Um, anyway, I bought these um, magnets. And this fun tack because I found these. I found these wire cubes. Well, no, they're not wire anymore. This is what I was talking about. I bought this at the kitchen stuff store, I think that's what it's called. It was selling for $30, so I decided to bring it. I lugged it over from work and um, I'm gonna open it up to see. And that's why I bought the fun tack and the um, magnets because um, unlike wire cubes, I can't do binder clips to hang my, my prints. Which reminds me, I have to print out a bunch of prints still. And um, this is... I'm gonna try it. Let's see. I'm too lazy to pull out my tripod, so you're gonna have to see my dirty floor. These things. Oh, it's tinier than I thought. Which is... And that's good because I was carrying this and I was like, this is not very heavy. plastic. Do you see that? It's really small too. My wire cubes are slightly bigger but this is perfect because it's lightweight and there's a lot. Okay, awesome. I don't want to bring all of them nevertheless because I don't want to carry too much but these are great. Okay, let's try. Let's try to get a cube. this for my setup. I'll just put my prints up. I need something here. I don't actually think I'll have it this high up, but let's try it if it can hold an original. Oh yeah. As you've noticed, I actually haven't planned out my layout. Sorry, it's really dark in here again. Just working. Still good. Just doing some last minute prints and look at that, it fits perfectly. Again, I don't know if I should bring it all, I haven't decided yet. Okay, this one's done. I'm on the second floor. Looks like I have a full table. Wasn't expecting this. First thing I set up is my banner. I was afraid I broke it in Kanzine last time, but I think it's doing okay.
I'm a writer. I ordered more B paper. This is what I use to print out my 5x7, 6x9 prints. Or my favorite Canson watercolor paper. It is Thursday morning. Um, bit of a late start today. It's already 9.45. I got up at around 9.20 and then I got ready and now I'm making coffee and now I'm going to start my day. So th it's Thursday today. I don't remember the last clips. I think the last clips were maybe some after the convention of me just packing some pre-orders and that was it because the rest of the week when I went back to work, it was extremely busy. We found out that we, um, well, my boss, not me, I didn't buy the building but we are moving offices indeed and um, we have to be moved out and moved in by December the first so um, it's gonna be bar very it's gonna be very very busy for me until then even a few months after just to fix because it's big office move uh, we're downsizing a lot so we're cleaning out storage and so my boss asked me to be in office for four weeks uh, for for four days instead of three days a week um, like I um, had asked which is fine with me because I was expecting all this to have go down anyway so I'm gonna be very busy vlogs are gonna be I'm gonna try and keep up with the vlog uploads and the video uploads but um, in terms of content it might be a little bit short because I can only film whenever I have a studio day or when I am not tired uh, like I, I was really tired after the convention just because of like the social thing like after i do a big social event i kind of just want to not talk to anybody so so yeah Beautiful. that was my dad it's my brother's birthday today and i don't think he has any plans um i'm pretty busy but i'm gonna call him in a bit and see what he's up to he's probably at work um i forgot what i was gonna say oh yes i wanted to run down what i was gonna do today for studio day but those plans might change again because maybe we're gonna go out i don't know uh yeah, but I've been just so been just so busy and I'm actually gearing up for uh, a bunch of videos that I have to do. So today is going to be a full video day. I wrote down a little post-it note on my agenda. I don't write it right on the agenda right away. I write it on a post-it note and then I cross it off. And then I put it on my agenda as my stuff that I actually did and it's quite satisfying for me. So on my post-it it says I have to film... I have to film and no I don't have to film I have to do a voiceover for a video I have to do a painting I have to work on patreon comic and I have to do my inktober because I have run out of my inktober saved up my saved up inktober pieces so I have to do them until the end of October which is pretty soon um, the other thing is it's Halloween right so on Saturday we actually have a Halloween party to go to I think I think I'm almost done I just need one more piece for my Halloween costume it's not even that big crazy costume idea i just had an idea and i was like i'm gonna do it it's gonna look stupid i'm gonna be ricky from trailer park boys so that's it i'll put a picture if you don't know what that is you probably don't just remember Leahy, what comes around is all around don't you mean what's all around comes around ricky yep anyway i think my hot water is done for my instant coffee so i'm gonna make that and i will be back so I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to work on this video. By the way, here's my progress for the ink Inktober for the out of body pre order. So I packed up the ones that just ordered the book because some people ordered the book and like prints and stickers. So I'm going to do those today. I don't have too much left. I have these much left to do, but I've kind of been putting them on hold to send over mail because Canada Post is having rotating strikes. I don't exactly know what that means. I looked it up. It's just certain postal services in certain places are on strike. So some of the couriers are not working and I don't want my stuff to get lost in transit because I remember when that happened a while back, one of my things got lost in the mail. They just forgot about it. So I'm waiting a little bit. If anybody who pre-ordered out of body is watching this video, um, 
uh, please note that that's that's why it's you're still gonna receive it. It's just I want to make sure that the Canada Post is fine before I send off any further orders. But I'm gonna pack them anyway, um, and then send them off as I see fit. It is now 12:30. I just finished uploading the first video uh, for the, thir the Thursday video. I'm uploading it on Thursday because it's um, a special video. And I'm gonna actually be using the premiere feature on YouTube. It's a new feature where you can premiere a video. I first saw it on Eat Your Kimchi's channel. They premiered um, a video where they were making pierogies with their parents, with Simon's parents. And I was like, this is really cool because I was like, is this live? But it's not live. It's just, they, it's a fully edited video, but they premiered it. So there's also chat, which is really cool. And it was really fun watching the video and watching other people's reactions to the video so i'm gonna try it out for this thursday's video thursday coming up now i've crossed off the video on my to-do list but i think i'm gonna take a break uh, before i switch gears and work on the patreon comic by packing some pre-orders or some of the orders that came in i also received three orders that are not out of body just orders from my shop which is really cool thank you guys so much and thank you to everybody who pre-ordered out of body i have a lot of copies left so i i also i don't know if i told you guys about this but i did apply for tcaf and they don't really accept people who have exhibited um the year before but i tried anyway because why not why you never know so i applied for that maybe i can sell if i do get a tcaf table i can sell some out of body um comics also if you follow me on instagram i posted a story of this my boyfriend got it from work it's an ethiopian airlines um uh, kit like the, you know they i guess it's in first class they give you a kit of just stuff and it's really cool i opened it on i unboxed it on instagram but ah but it comes with so many things in there there's like an alligator comb well it looks like an alligator there's pen, socks, lip balm, toothpaste, toothbrush, a sleeping mask, a pen, like I said, and look at this comb, brush combo. It's pretty cool. It's quite nice. So I have one of these in green, and then the other one, I actually have another one. This one, it's still wrapped up and it's probably all red inside, but I'm saving this for a friend of mine. So I'm going to give this to her. And I, and this is great because he's like, you know, I got it for you because you could probably use it for conventions. Like if you go to a convention that's not local and you need like a bag. And I'm like, thank you. This is cool. But the big pumps are, we have telescope and piano. Ooh, look how blown out that is. All right, here we go. So obviously this is another one of those prompts where I just wasn't Alright, I wrote all the addresses for these and now I am going to set up my drafting table to work on my comic um, I'm just looking through Instagram and have you guys noticed that sometimes Instagram makes you follow certain people? I noticed that it made me follow certain like influencers like people who like travel and do shit like that and like just have money And I'm like I'm not very interested in this But there was one Instagram account that Instagram made me follow It made me follow this account about baby pit bulls called kings and queens underscore bully so like the baby pit bulls and i don't remember i've only i've only followed one dog account because if i follow all of them if i follow one i'll follow all of them that's kind of a lie because i followed one and i did not follow all of them anyway <laughs> i don't mind following this account because i really like pit bulls I would love to own a pit bull, but I don't know in, in terms of training if I could do it. But aren't they the most gorgeous little doggies, especially as babies? <laughs> look at this. look at him. He's so strong. Oh my gosh. And then when they grow up, they're just like these hellhounds. They look awesome. If you want a dog and if you want a protector dog, get this a get a get a freaking pit bull. But you have to train them proper. Anyway, yeah, so Instagram made me follow this account and I don't mind so cute <laughs> Oy, so cute dog oh my god what is this one 
Oh, I've never seen a doggy uh, pit bull. Oh, they cropped the ears. I don't like the ear cropping though. Oh my god, the names. Buttercup, Teddy, Grizzly, and Smokey. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it when they crop dog ears. Horrible. Anyway, that's my Instagram digression. Some of my recent Inktobers. I'm just scanning in my pages because the way I made this comic, it's everything's a little bit jumbled. So. It is now 3.20 and I am doing some test prints for the next comic. Um, I'm printing it out with a brother and it looks pretty great. So I just did minimal colors which are, it's a bit more red than I want. Um, it's more pink in real life. Uh, this is another test of it. So I'm gonna go with this and look at that. It prints not bad. I think I have to sharpen, sharpen stuff a little bit but that's not bad at all. So it's very minimal colors for this um, for this round of comics because I want to be able to use this laser printer. So and it's a lot bigger than my <laughs> my other comics. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna take a break from this because this is a lot of work. I had to. Let me quickly show you the the drafts. All right, you're seeing this now. So basically, what I did is I drew on paper. <laughs> like you do when you draw but I kind of like you see I just crossed this drawing out because I'm like I'm not gonna include that in the final so what I did is I isolate, isolated certain images like this one and this one and then I put it all together so there's a lot of copying and pasting on Photoshop and that's a lot of pages that I did that so it's a lot of effort but once I lay out all the line art I can just color it and it should be done but I have to add text too so yeah that's the update on that i feel like i've been working on this comic for quite some time so i want to take a break from doing that and maybe start editing this vlog actually because i would like to have it up for friday hey guys it is 9 30 on thursday i am just finishing up the block the vlog but i'm only about 24 minutes in and i want to get it to 30 minutes I'm pretty much ready for bed. The, the last thing I have to do on my list is to do my Inktober. And then maybe if I have some energy, I will start painting. I have to go back to work tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday, so... But I kind of want to go to bed because I've just been working all day. But yeah, now I don't know. I want to like push this to 30 minutes. But maybe this vlog is just going to be shorter. I don't know how long the next vlog is going to be just because I'm going to be, like I said, working on working at my day job. So, um, I think I'll end the vlog here. I will be doing my Patreon shout out. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. There was a lot of packing. There was a little bit of convention. Oh, oh, that's something I kind of want to quickly talk about. I did say how much I made at MCX. Uh, I, sorry if my boyfriend's talking in the back. He's playing D&D &D online. Um, I made about $300, about $320, so it wasn't too bad. <laughs> Plus, it's really good because the table is free anyway. <laughs> Overall, it was a successful convention, and I'm probably going to do it again next year because it's local. I'm going to end the vlog now because he's going to keep talking. <laughs> so I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to watch out for my video coming this Thursday. Well, next Thursday. It will be a premiere so I will see you guys hopefully on the chat. I scheduled it around my lunch hour because I know on Thursday I will be at work. But I will be there during my lunch hour chatting with you guys. So I'll see you guys there. Now to do my Patreon shout out. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching the vlog and thank you to all my patrons for supporting me for this month. I hope you have been enjoying the sneak peeks and the content that I've been giving. I will be posting another sneak peek soon of the comic. I will be posting uh, maybe three pages or so. And the shout out for this week goes to Roizen. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Roizen? Roizen? Thank you so much. I love your comments on my Patreon. I don't know if you watch my vlogs, but if you do, this vlog is dedicated to you. 
Thank you so much for your sweet, sweet, lovely comments on my Patreon. I really look forward to whenever I post, you might comment. I don't know, I get excited. But thank you guys, and thank you, Rosen. Thank you so much for watching this vlog, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.